I'm so excited to be coming to you today from my basement to read you a story. Today we're going to read the book, This Little Artist by Joan Haloub and Daniel Rood. Painting, shaping, making art. With creative joy, hands and heart, little artists have great big imaginations. Michelangelo. This little artist had Italy impressed. An architect, painter and poet, he liked making sculptures best. Michelangelo is famous for painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling and for his David and Pietà sculptures. Mary Cassatt. This little artist chose to portray moms and their kids at home and at play. Mary Cassatt painted tender, loving moments in the everyday lives of women and children, which was an unusual subject in the late 1800s. We all recognize this guy, Vincent Van Gogh. This little artist painted pictures of his face a starry, starry night and sunflowers in a vase. Vincent van Gogh applied thick paint with wild brush strokes to show his feelings. Pablo Picasso. This little artist made blue art for a while, switched to rosy colors, then painted cubist style. Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque began the cubist art movement, showing objects broken into angled shapes. Georgia O'Keeffe, this little artist painted very large flowers, animal skulls, and skyscraping towers. Georgia O'Keeffe sat in her car or camped in a tent to keep away from bugs and the hot sun while painting nature in New Mexico. Alexander Calder, or sometimes we call him Sandy Calder. This little artist built a toy circus from springs, cranks, balloons, buttons, and other small things. Alexander Calder made hanging metal and wire sculptures that are called mobiles, or kinetic art, because they can move. Salvador Dali. This little artist liked attention and fun. His melting clocks and wild mustache startled everyone. Salvador Dali was a surrealist. Objects in his art often look strange or melted. Oh, here's one of our favorites at school, Frida Kahlo. This little artist painted her life story with symbols of Mexico to celebrate its glory. Frida Kahlo was often ill in bed where she would paint with a special easel. She made 55 pictures of herself called self-portrait. And we know this guy, Andy Warhol. This little artist used objects like soup cans to make pop art paintings and prints. 
that delighted his fans. Andy Warhol began as a shy advertising artist, but he became a superstar with many famous friends. Some of you sat at this table this year. This is Jean-Michel Basquiat. This little artist was a great poet too. He mixed words with doodles as he painted and drew. Jean-Michel Basquiat used ideas from pop culture, street life, and his Haitian and Puerto Rican heritage in his artwork. Crayons, paper, paint, or clay. What will you use to make art today? Boys and girls, I hope that you all can find some time to make art today. I miss seeing your little faces and I can't wait to see you all again very, very soon.